So, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Empowering a sustainable future with uh, plastics. That's what the, the keynote. And uh, you may ask yourself, how does a new light stabilizer may fit into that uh, context? And uh, to get some answers here, we have to dive in the, uh, what we call, plastic culture and the growing segment of uh, modern farming. Um, first, starting with uh, the situation where we are in. Uh, we are facing a growing world population, so uh, continuous supply of food is absolutely key. Um, there is a growing uh, request on organic food production, um, let's say based on very stringent uh, environmental protection requirements. And here, the modern farming faces some challenges. How to balance the yield, the increased yield necessary for, for foods and, and vegetables, together with these environmental uh, requirements. And also under condition of harsh climate conditions, less arable land and water scarcity. Here, uh, plastic culture, though so the use of plastic materials in agriculture does significantly contribute. Greenhouse covers maintain um, constant temperature and humidity for, con for continuous production of uh, fruits and vegetables. Um, the uh, mulch films and irrigation pipe reduce the water consumption. And an effective, very effective way uh, to store livestock food is with silage films. These are three prominent examples showing how on the efficiency of plastic culture to use natural resources in a, in a sustainable manner. Materials used in, in, in those areas have to withstand uh, intense UV radiation and also heat over many years. And we are, will launch a new technology, a new NOR, so-called NOR technology, at uh, K2019, fitting to this application. The product name is Tinovin NOR356, a performance benchmark for agricultural plastics, um, which um, protects the film and uh, extend the, the lifetime of films. But what is unique, it's also uh, resistant to crop treatments. For example, a product certified in organic, uh, um, organic uh, farming is the elemental sulfur, and those products are resistant also to those uh, applications. What happens during the weathering? A very, very short step into chemistry, so the intense sunlight irradiation impinges on the, on the polymer films and uh, causing uh, the release of molecular fragments called uh, radicals. You can see it here marked in red. And without Hulse chemistry, um, the uh, um, circle reaction is set in motion, and at the end of the day, the complete film will be destroyed over the uh, um, time in use. The new technology will bind those free radicals, make them harmless, harmless by interfering this, this uh, reaction. So the films are durable, and uh, the lifetime is extended. Normal uh, light stabilizers does not uh, fit here, does not perform because of their limited resistance to uh, crop treatments and disinfection methods. What is now, and this is most important, what are the benefits for farmers here? Um, the increased lifetime uh, result in leather use of polymer films. Um, this means up to 60% polymer reduction if the duration is increased from one year to three years. And if you increase from two to three years, it's also up to 25% reduction. And what is also very important, also farmers' expenses on film purchase can be reduced, and that's about 50%, up to 50%, if the film duration is tripled, and 25% if it's doubled. On top, as I already mentioned, it's an unmatched uh, resistance to UV radiation, to uh, heat and uh, crop treatments. Um, 
result in less damage of the greenhouse application and also significant reduced plastic waste, which is also important. We have seen the presentation already. And last but not least, what is very important for organic farming, that the conditions in organic farming uh, are compliant with new technologies. And this is also, let's say, the case here for integrated pest management, an important feature of organic farming in our days. We are working here uh, with farmers since uh, many, many years together, doing field trials together to really uh, see the needs of the, those industries but to have an efficient development and to be able to provide the right solution. Also in time, we are working with specialists from crop science to look really uh, into solutions for this industry. As this may show, um, we uh, are strongly committed to, agricultural, uh, to the agricultural industry. Based on our proven track, tracking record on uh, high-performance light stabilizers and antioxidants, we are further investing in new NOR technology. And on top of the increased capacity uh, of NOR uh, technology-based light stabilizers, we invest in light stabilizers uh, in our main uh, plants uh, worldwide, as shown here on, on the slide. These are some answers to the question on sustainability and plastic culture with our new Tinovin NOR technology. Thank you for listening. BASF. We create chemistry.